Finding the right gift for everybody on your holiday list can be a little tricky. A recent New York Times article called The Perfect Gift. It's the one they asked for, they said. <laughs> Imagine that. that. Shares the science behind gift giving. Author John Tierney writes, you're not obliged to spend hours finding just the right gift for each person on your list. Most would be just as happy with something quick and easy. Rest assured, this is not a ploy by some lazy Scrooges in academia. The New York Times science columnist John Tierney joins us now to explain. Good morning to you. Morning. Because I, I like that old adage, it's not, it's the thought that counts. And you're saying, no, it really isn't. No, People don't care about the thought. <laughs> it counts to you when you're shopping. Yes. It seems like a lot of work, but most people just look at the president. If it's a good president, they're happy. Yeah. And, yeah. and you said we spend a lot of time on the big reveal. We should stop doing that. People think that they want that big moment under the Christmas tree when it's some exciting toy or piece of jewelry. And, and it's nice for you to see that, you know, that moment of excitement, but the person getting the gift is thinking, can I actually use this thing? Right. So if you spend well, six months on a crocheted <laughs> oven mitt yes. and you don't need an oven mitt, it means nothing. It's like, yes, yeah, the moment means nothing. Like, you know, what about the rest of the year? Yeah. <laughs> I still am dreaming of that moment when you open up the front door and there's a car, like, yeah, right. on it's top of it, like, like in the commercials. What about giving the same gift to multiple people? That's a big mistake people make is called over-individuation. That's what academics call it. It's thinking that you have to give everyone something special. And what you end up doing is giving worse presents to people. If you find one great book, just give the same book to everyone. So you're everyone. saying it's okay to it's give okay. people it's the same It's absolutely okay yeah, to do to that. Yeah, people oh. don't care. And, 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 and that way you end up giving one good gift to everyone instead of some mediocre gifts. Gift, to gift cards have become so popular in recent years. I, I, or in, cash. Yeah, or cash. In the thought that counts department, I always felt that was kind of, you know, passing on, on the gift. But it does. People feel guilty giving them, but people love receiving them. Right. Do they the really, John, like yes. a gift card? Really? Not a gift card, but cash, don't you Oh, cash. Yeah, I, I get the cash, fine. but a gift card. Don't you give get, you know, cash to your spouse. That's yeah. Let's <laughs> <that's the> <laughs> hear, honey, you were really good this year. You were year. great this year. Because <laughs> yes. yeah, you're going to always underpay. <laughs> that's the problem. Why is it only a 50? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I deserve at least 75. <laughs> now, you say re-gifting is okay. I always thought re-gifting you know, when I was coming up, regifting was rude. Yes. People think what that, do you say? Uh, that regifting is rude. People think that, it, that it, it's rude for me to regift, and most people feel that way. But when researchers ask people, how do you feel after you've given someone a gift? Can they regift it? Everyone says, it's fine. I've given them the gift. It's their property. They can do whatever they want with it. I think right. it depends There's on the no gift shame. I gave. No shame. If I regift it, it usually on means that. it's a pretty yeah. gab, bad one, though. Just don't give it back to the same person. That's <laughs> the one thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to write it down if you're going to regift. Yeah. Exactly, exactly.